So basically what we're gonna do here is totally reverse the pedal. So it's a mirror image of what it is now. So we're gonna want this to be over here on this side. And we're gonna need to flip this upside down so that we can actually twist this the opposite direction by pushing down on the pedal. That'll make sense here in a second. So I'm doing this on a Gibraltar Intruder pedal. The only kind of pedal that I'm aware of that you can't do this whole reversing thing on is any of the DW double bass pedals because they don't have this arm here on this side, which is something we have to have to actually make this work. But if you have any other kind of pedal, switching it around is probably going to be a lot like what I'm doing here. So if you've got the Gibraltar Intruder, you're in luck. That's the pedal I'm working with. Otherwise, you'll be doing something a lot like this. So follow along as best as you can. There's a couple basic things that you're going to do no matter what kind of pedal you have. First, we're going to unscrew these screws here, take this thing off. Is this going to need to go onto this side? Now, there's this nut right here that we have to take off, and it can be on there pretty tight. So that's why we want to use the socket wrench and then use an additional wrench to clamp down on this so that we can get some traction on loosening that. Before we do that though, there are a couple of these tiny screws in here that we'll need to take out. We actually don't need to take it out to get this loose, but we will need them out here in just a second, so we might as well go ahead and do it. That's what we need the tiny Allen wrench for. Right here in this hole is where we want to loosen. So your pedal's probably got something like that just to hold this stuff in place. There might be a tiny little screw or something that you'll need to pull out. This one comes out pretty easily. It's really tiny, so be careful not to lose it after you take it out. We've got one over here on this side also. I'm gonna keep those together right there, make sure they don't disappear. And this already just popped out. That's one of the things that we're gonna to need to take out that loosening that screw allows us to do. So we'll go ahead and leave that right there. And the other one's coming out too. These things I think are just in there for looks. I'm not sure what they actually do. Now we're ready to loosen this. It is good to have this out of the way first because that allows us to really get in here and really get on that nut with the socket wrench. Makes it easier to get it out. Pretty quickly we can just hand loosen this. So we've now got that nut out, so we're keeping track of things we're pulling off. We've got the tiny little screws right here. We've got these big washer kind of things. We've got this nut. And now we just need to loosen this. I've actually already got it loose, so it's sliding along right here. And we'll also need to loosen the uh, memory lock right here, which we will also use the tiny Allen key for. Yes, yeah, so we're good to go there. Now we just gotta slide this out and then stick it back in the opposite way. Kinda have to push on a little bit here, snap it out. And again, we've got small pieces. We've got a washer right here that's gonna fall out over on this side. We'll go ahead and let these come off. Again, kind of having to shove this through. We might even need to loosen this a little extra just to help us out here. There we go. So we've got our piece, whatever this thing's called, that is the most important piece here, what we have to make sure we flip around. So we'll need this to go this way. Before we do that, we can go ahead and flip this thing around because we're gonna need this to actually flip the other way which will make sense here in a minute. So first thing we're gonna do, we actually don't even need to touch this. We just need to unscrew it down here, which we can do with these little screws. There's actually, there should be another tuning key loosenable screw that goes in right here. Uh, mine actually fell out and disappeared a while back and so I don't have it in here. So all I've gotta do is loosen these little things. Once you get those off, you can slide this right out. And again, we've got tiny washers that we don't want to lose. 
I'm gonna keep track of as they're falling out. So in case you didn't catch that, we pulled two screws out from right up here that attach the chain via this piece onto the foot plate. So now we just wanna flip it around. Instead of having this positioned this way, we want it actually positioned this way so that pushing down is gonna turn the pedal backwards, which is what we're gonna want in order to put this onto a cajon and have it work that way. So this is gonna to need to go this way, which is kind of weird and it's kind of tricky. We've now gotta reattach this facing this direction using those same screws. You stick the screws in this way. And on the other side, you wanna add in those washers, hold those down. Honestly, this part right here is probably the most frustrating part because we're working with these tiny little pieces. Getting these to stay in here is tricky. The uh, tuning key screw that goes in right here that, uh, that came off of mine, you can't really put it on here this way unless you've got a longer one. So if you can make that work and stick in something longer because of the way this bracket's now positioned, Otherwise, you're not able to do that, so you have to secure it down just with the nuts right here. This is where the needle nose pliers can come in handy if you need to continue to tighten these down. So if we want to get these good and tight, we roughly got them in there, and we can get them a little snugger with the pliers. But if we want to really make sure these are in there tight, we can also pull out a screwdriver. And with the needle nose pliers, hold down the, the nuts while we screw down right here. So I'm holding one of those nuts in place while screwing down just to make sure we've got these nice and snug because we are relying on these to hold the chain onto the pedal, otherwise the pedal will not work. All right, so we've got that tightened down. Should be good to go there. And we can take extra measures to make sure this is gonna stay here if we're gonna be using it for a while and playing pretty hard. And we could add another screw through here. For now, I'm gonna skip over that and go ahead and add this up here. We can come back to this later. So now we've got this ready to go. It's facing the right direction. So we just got to put this back on and basically put everything back together. And it looks like we're hitting something here. We're not able to get it through. So we've got this additional piece in here that actually just needs to be popped out to allow us to get this in. Might be easier to come at it from this side. So I'm gonna jab at it. Basically this additional piece right here that's allowing that spinning motion. So it's situated in there and we have to pop that out in order to get this position back in there. And there it went, exploding out. Okay, so we caught that. So now we're ready to get this in there. A lot of times stuff does get kind of stuck in here and you might have to play with it, jab at it a little bit to get it to pop out. So now we're ready to slip this in. Just like that. This piece that we just popped out, now we're gonna need it over here on this side. We can slide that in. Maybe use our Allen key to finish pushing that in there. I'm actually gonna use the piece of the socket wrench to push it in further. There we go. That is in all the way now. And guess what I forgot? This piece, when you slide it back out. So we'll slide this on here. Get this slipped back on just like that. Slide everything back together. Okay, so now we've got everything in working order here. We just gotta finish assembling this. So looking around, okay, what extra pieces have we got laying around here to make sure we remember to put back in? We've got these two things that are kind of just there for looks, but we'll add those after we screw the nut down, which we've gotta do after we put the washer on. So let's put this washer back on on this side that originally came off of this side. So we'll get that slipped on there, and we can start tightening this down. So, need the pliers again, and the socket wrench. And we want to get this pretty tight because we definitely don't want it coming apart on us while we're playing. I think that'll be good. Okay, so that is tight. I'm good to go there. Um, we will want to tighten these. We'll do that last. Let's go ahead and slide these on. Doesn't matter which goes where. They're really just going in there for looks to make it Look more polished, I guess. That's probably why they were added to the design. And then we wanna pop these little screws back in to keep those washers that we just put in there from falling out. So we've got one that goes right here, one that's gonna go right over here. So 
we'll make sure that's pretty snug. We definitely don't want those to fall out. Okay, let's tighten down the uh, lock right here. Slide this over to the side to get it out of the way. We know we want it about right here. And we'll tighten this down a little bit more. All right, so double checking everything. This is always free to glide, which is fine. It's not gonna go any further than that lock right there. Um, we could always add another lock on this side if we wanted to. So now we are good to go and can attach this back over here on this side. So now not only is the pedal a mirror image of what it was, but we've also got the middle piece here totally flipped backwards so that we can push down and that'll pull a beater this way over here on this end on the other pedal towards the cajon. So here's what that's going to look like. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these other videos and click the headshot to subscribe. New drumming tips, techniques, ideas, and product reviews every week.